Oh, Bram niet eens. Nee? Nee. Today is the day we start the driving lessons, man. So in the Netherlands, if you've been here, if you live here, you've seen those cars with like the fat ass L on it. Now be me. That's for learners. It's not going to be difficult because I've been driving for so long. I just have to get used to the roads a little bit here and the bikers and stuff. That's the only thing. But other than that, it'll be easy. So it should be good. About to do it. I'm going to see if I can film there, like in the car, like put the camera up and see. But I highly doubt it. But if it does work, hey, it'll be fun. If not, I'll give you all post post drive interview. Nah. Yeah, hopefully he tells me I did good. He'll tell me based on like my driving, how many lessons I need before I can take like the exam with the Sabier, which is like the um, in America is the DPS and all that stuff before I can take it and like actually get my license. I was almost late this morning, but I'm not almost because it felt horrible, man. I had to throw up, I had to cleanse the system a little bit, but feeling better now. So I think we should be good. I'm done with my driving lesson for today. She said I did really good. I couldn't film in there, obviously. If not, y'all would have seen it. I did really good. And uh, she said I don't have a lot of, of lessons that I need to do. Because normally they have you do like 20 lessons or 30 even if you don't know how to drive. But I've been driving and she knows I've been driving good too. So mine will be like maybe like four or something. I just have to get used to looking over my shoulder more for the bikers when you turn left or right you know because there's a lot of bikers here what's sickening is each lesson is 50 euros and then to schedule the exam with like the sabier so like dps or whatever you all call it in your country that is 265 euros so yeah it's a lot of bread it's a lot of bread so i had to pay for my first two lessons, so that was 100. And then I had to pay for my appointment with uh, CBR. That's 265. And then I also had to pay a uh, gezondheidsverklaring. I don't know how to say that in English. I'll put like subtitles. In a span of two days, about 400, gone. Gone, but it's worth it because I need my license. And I'm thinking about it more. I'm working for my money, but <laughs> it just disappears like that quick. Right now, as you see, I'm walking and I have to go pick up my damn bike because it got taken by uh hunt having that's like uh it's not police but they are like some type of enforcement yeah officials as well because i parked my bike in the wrong place at the station and i guess they gave me a warning but i didn't see it the second time your second warning is basically they take your bike and make you pay 25 euros so about to go pick up the bike because public transport is getting expensive and Riding my bike is obviously cheap, it's just free, and it's healthy, I need to, you know, we need to get ready for summer, but let's go pick up the bike and uh, try to finesse our way so we don't have to pay the 25, but I don't think that'll happen, they'll make me pay that. I'm walking over to this place and I see just random damn chickens, look at this. And over there, there's a bunch more over there too. What the hell? Should I try to go touch it? Probably horrible out there, but let me try. Oh, hell no. Oh, he's gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> chickens, don't, chickens don't mess with black people, apparently. Nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But, hey, there is those people that make everything about race. I'm like, bro, come on, man. It's not all about that. Just relax. There's so many sensitive people, man. Like, just calm down. It's not about the skin color every time. Sometimes it is, but not every time. Just calm down and live your life, man. Live your life. You know how in normal countries you get your car towed or something if you park it wrong? Here in the Netherlands, you can get your car towed and your bike towed. But uh, yeah, I just had to pay the 25 euro and uh, got the bike back. Ah, look at the beauty. Look at it, got it back. Shout out them for taking my bike and uh, making me pay 25 euros. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy, bro. Anything to make money, they gonna find a way and get it. But uh, yeah, got the bike back. I learned my lesson, sorry for the chickens that I showed you earlier, but uh, yeah, got the bike back. You want a behind the scenes view of how to make a TikTok? I'll show y'all. Look, this is all I do, watch. You have an idea in your head or you have something written down and then you just, I personally like Snapchat to record off of it, but today I'm gonna try something different. Cause the back camera of the iPhone, amazing. I even vlog with it sometimes if I can like, take my camera in because people are like, oh, no camera, uh, uh, uh. That's I'm like, it's okay, I'll just use my phone. 
I'm gonna see if this works. Damn, I need a computer or something to lean this on. Okay, gotta use your resources. Watch. You see this big paper towel? That's what we're gonna use to set the camera up. Boom. And then I'm gonna go to camera. Cause the camera quality, look at this. Look how good the quality is. Subscribe if you love me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Let's set it up. Let's hit record first. There we go, set it up. Yes, you can kind of just look at yourself and make sure you're in frame. Let me scoot it this way. All right, so you think of the TikTok idea? I already know which one I'm gonna do, which one I'm gonna be talking about. Then you just think and you just talk like this. And all the rappers, uh, I know there's rap beef going on. Um, I don't wanna be involved. I'm just giving my two cents. I'm innocent. I'm just saying, be a little smarter with your money. And uh, you always have to do a little disclaimer afterwards because uh, there's a lot of rap beef going on. Drake, Kendrick, there's even Afrobeats uh, beef going on right now. And uh, I don't want part of that. I don't want, I'm just uh, trying to be a YouTuber. That's it. Give my two cents. And uh, yeah, even if you try to come after me, 6'8", I'll kill you. Okay, I, I'm not going to kill you, but I'm going to whip you. You can't just come at me crazy, you know what I'm saying? Let me stop talking before this actually gets out of hand. Ah, I was just watching it a little bit, but look at the quality. About, oh, look at this. The label's taking my bread, this, this, this. Which is true, the labels are doing that, but the biggest finesse are got to be Johnny Day. If you want to see the rest of that TikTok, make sure you go follow me on TikTok right now. I post like every day, and it's not just clips from the vlogs or anything. It's different stuff. I want to really get active on different social medias and just trying to get my name out there in different ways. So follow me on TikTok right now. All right, but anyways, I got to go work out right now. I will see y'all in a bit. They do it though in English talents. This, yeah. Okay. I just picked up my bike yesterday from uh, the place y'all saw. But today, I was biking and uh, my tire is done now. So look at this. Completely flat. So at the tire shop right now and uh, he'll be fixed today so who lot for now for says okay so I'm about to go shopping real quick and then pick up the bike thank you if there's one thing I hate it's going shopping and that's what I'm doing exactly right now I'm in Primark right now because my brother said they have good stuff because he he actually did find good stuff but he's also in the Primark in France so I don't know if that makes a difference but we're about to see. I hate shopping in person, man, but it's better so I can try stuff on. Because sometimes when you order stuff online, it don't fit properly. But here, at least we can check. So Primark, hopefully we find some good stuff, man. Can't lie, these are kind of nice. That one and this one too. I like a little summer vibe on the beach or something somewhere in a different country. So I might have to cop. I'll see how it fits first. I might show you, I might not. Might have to be a surprise, but we'll see. Okay, to my surprise, there was actually a lot of things that I found, but let's see, because look, the lady was like trying to count all this shit and then she messed it up, but it's okay. I think we found some good pieces, but we'll see. I do like this new selfie stick, not selfie stick. I do like this new tripod I got. It's much nicer. Look at this. All right? It's better. Instead of having to hold the lens the whole time, this is much better. But, all right, let's try it on. Okay, this is shirt number one I found right here. I don't know if y'all can see it well, but look. Not bad. Not bad. A little summer vibe. Ignore the shorts. This is this is not part of it. But this is not bad. Shirt number two. Not bad. So if it's right here, I dig it. I think. What y'all think? See, this is the fit. This is how I like it to fit more. All are like about the same size, but they all fit a little different. But this one, the fit is nice. Looks nice. See, it's long. Looks good. Nice. I don't know if y'all see the back right here. Tour dates. That's why I'll be going on tour. Nah, I'm playing. But yeah, this is nice. This is a cup. Okay, this one's not bad either. I'm noticing a pattern with these type of shirts. They're all like short, short right here. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm tall or maybe it's, I don't know. Yeah, 
It looks nice though. This is more like a beachy summer vibe. So it's nice, but I just wish it was a little longer. That's the only thing, but this is a maybe, maybe. This one, not bad either, not bad. I like how it fits, the back is nice, let me show you. Pretty nice, not bad. I think this is a cup. I'm surprised with Primark, I can't lie, I can't lie. Cause when I came here a couple months ago with my sister, I didn't find any good stuff, but today, I'll take it, I'll take it. We still have to order some more stuff online, but I'll take this Primark, I'll take it. This is that shirt, but one size bigger. So it fits looser, I like it. So I'm gonna see if they have this one in one size bigger. Cause this one fits perfectly, just how I like it. So, okay, this is a cup. W fit, I like it. Yes, looks good. Patting up, patting up. Yes, 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 see. See the back. I don't know if you'll see it. Yes. Cop. I, I think the people next to me are hooking up. This one I'm a little in between. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Y'all tell me, man. Cop or drop? This in the maybe. Another one. I like it. Looks nice. It's a. What do you think? Cop. For sure. Yeah, this is nice. Alright, I'm back in my fit now. Mid, 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 mid. But I tried all these shorts, didn't fit. These are the ones that are going. This section. And then these are not going. These and some other ones. So. Pretty solid day, I'm surprised. I can't lie. But uh, yeah, shorts, I probably just need to try a different store or just order online, which I'm gonna order some other stuff online as well, but solid day, solid day. I'm gonna look around one more time to see if I can find stuff. If not, we're leaving. It might seem like I've only been here for like five minutes to y'all, but I've been here for like 45 minutes at least. And this line to check out, oh my God, it's so long. Like, look at this, look at this. And there's a line here and upstairs, so <laughs> there's no avoiding this. You're gonna have to wait in this, but oh well. Gotta do it. Picked out some few pieces. So I put a lot back and I added like one more that I didn't find. But yeah, solid day. At least I didn't waste my time. Normally I just come to the store, waste my time, and don't find anything and go home piss. But today, hey, it's not bad. I don't know, maybe I'm just a sicko, but I'm standing in this line just thinking. And I was like, I can't wait for the day for someone to like talk shit in Dutch. And for them thinking that I don't speak Dutch. <laughs> and then just have a conversation and just that look on their face. It's never happened so far, but I can't wait for that to happen because it just seems fun. But maybe I'm just a sicko. Or both. Yeah, I think it's both. The tire is fixed. The bikes are fixed, so that's good. I was just talking to him, and he said there was like a rip in the uh, um, the inner tire. Because from like low tire pressure, but yeah, it's fixed now. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. Because this ain't cheap. 18 euros, but hey, life is not cheap. I swear, at this point, I have to be rich because as soon as I get paid or get money, Spotify wants a piece, the bike shop wants a piece, uh, what else, food, yeah, that wants a piece as well, clothing, this, vacation, this, so I gotta make money, I have to. Okay, so I was just talking to him and he kind of explained what happened with my front tire and it's kind of happening with my back tire too, I'll show you. Right here, it's kind of tearing. So I just need to pump my tire more often. He said at least once a month, but yeah, I definitely have to take care of that more so I don't have to come back here and spend money on the bike. But it won't be too bad. About to get a whip soon anyways. But I'll still be biking. You know, it's healthy, it's good for you. Good morning. I've been up since like 6.50, but after that I went back to sleep and uh, I have a doctor's appointment at 9.45. It's 9.30 right now, so I have to bike really fast, brush my teeth real quick, but yeah, I'll see y'all there. I'm literally one of the coldest. I left the house at 
35 I think and look what time it is easily made it on time but normally I should have left earlier but to the doctor I know they always call you late anyway so my late to this would have really been on time but you get the point professional biker see I told you I really could have been late and still be good but you know I always try to be on time I'm learning that now I'm changing the African time to on time so we're gonna try to get that but I'm going to the doctor today because if you know me I don't know why but out of randomly I just sweat a lot from my palms and also my feet so I was talking to the doctor on the phone and he was like yeah just come in he he said they were gonna give me something for it and it'll go away quick I don't know I've had it for a long time and also I have like two calluses on my hand on the same sides but I don't know I think there's a wart underneath it I don't know let me show you if you see it right there it's like cracked right now because of like weightlifting and stuff. I have it here, calluses and stuff, but I don't know why that one has been like that for years. And I have it on my other hand too while I'm holding the camera, but I'm gonna see what they say and uh, hopefully that goes away. Maybe that's the problem with this wet. I don't know, I guess we'll see, but uh, yeah. Make sure you go to the doctor, man. Like it's really important to health is wealth. And yeah, it's always better to be early than late with anything, so. I was gonna do every six months, get like a blood check and just make sure everything is straight. But I talked to my doctor, he said once a year should be fine and everything. And the last time I did my blood check was in November. So I'll do it again next, yeah, in November. But today I'm doing, yeah, just to check up for my sweat, um, the callus slash wart, I don't even know what that is. And uh, also a P-test, just to make sure everything is straight. Health is wealth, baby, you know, but Next Monday, I'm also, I also have, uh, I'm going to the dentist again, just for a checkup, make sure everything is straight. And I don't know what it is, like the, I took y'all along like a month ago, I got my, um, the invisible aligner like underneath your teeth after you get braces. I got that and one got loose again, right here in the corner, very annoying, but I, I guess you just patch it up real quick or something. It's really annoying, but I don't want it to fully loose and like hurt my teeth or hurt my mouth, you know? Also, <laughs> last night we were in a FaceTime call and uh, like a family group call and we were, pl were planning to go on vacation, a family vacation within two weeks. I don't know if that will happen, but uh, I guess we'll see. It should be fun. And the lady at the reception is like looking at me because I'm vlogging. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is a lot, but no one is here, so I think I'm good. Yeah, no one is in this waiting area, so I'll be straight. But yeah, let's see if that uh, group chat family vacation will make it out. I think it will, but uh, we'll see. We're Nigerian, so who knows what can happen. So it will be really, really fun, and I will obviously take y'all along, you know. I love making content. This is what I'm going to do. This is going to be my job, so in Jesus' name. All right, so I just talked to the doctor. Everything was good. She gave me some cream for uh, the sweat. That should help. And uh, also for the wart that I have on my hand. They're about to do, um, I don't know how you say it in English. It's like um, they freeze it. It gets so cold that it burns, you know? So we're about to do that. I've had this done like 15 years ago. I had a wart on my foot and I got it like frozen off, burnt off basically. But yeah, we're about to do it. Hopefully, I'll try to vlog it, but hopefully it doesn't hurt too bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm not nervous, but like, I'm him, you know, like, but still, like, ah. Oh, my God. Oh, brand new things. No? No. Ik ga nog twee keer doen. Oké. Okay. Omdat je huid daar zo dik uh, is. Oh, Oké, okay, daarom. Voel je het niet. Je <laughs> brandt het wel. <laughs> je zit hem helemaal wit te worden. Ja. Dat is hoe het vriest. En dan gaat het zelf een beetje dooien. Nog een keer doen.
Voel je het? Uh, nog niet. Oké, okay, nu voel ik het wel een <laughs> beetje. Oké. Okay. Dat het weer omdooit. Ja. En dan gaan we nog één keer vriezen. Oké, okay, let's go. Oké, okay, die voelt wel. Ja. Okay, so that was the first hand. Now the second hand. The first two times didn't hurt that bad because I think the skin is so thick. But yeah, I definitely feel it now. Yeah. Okay, second hand. All right, we're done at the doctor's. Um, I'm holding this with my left hand now because she did my right hand last, and it's still burning for some reason. But yeah, um, she said it should go away in two weeks, and if it doesn't, then we do another round of the liquid nitrogen. That's what it is, the cold stuff. But yeah, um, yeah, should be good now. About to go pick up my uh, cream, and uh, off we go. I'm not even talking. You are my ETA. I ain't left just yet. I'm stalling. Still gonna come through. Shake that back. I, I think the people next to me are hooking up. See,